You're very welcome, Hank. Are you going to Instagram? Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna Instagram. By the way, I can do a fantastic impression of your brother. Close your eyes. Good morning, Hank, it's Friday. <laughs> that was terrible. Anyway, so next off, could we invite to the stage, Emma Blackery, please. She's tiny, isn't she? <laughs> tiny! <laughs> Next up, Mr. Casper Lee! Hey, girl. Now, next up is the man we've all been waiting for, of course. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Benjamin Cook! We should really have got, like, the Darth Vader music for that moment. <laughs> Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Fantastic. Blimey. Who's that? What is that? Please welcome Shauna from Nanalu. From Nanalu. Hello. Okay, this is a big one. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Dan is not on fire. <laughs> Next up, the creator of some of the most brilliant. What's the word? Cartoons and, and stuff on the, on the internet. Thomas Ridgewell from Tom Scar. <laughs> and, and last but, wait, I need my presenter boy. Last but not least, please welcome to the stage, Crab Six. <laughs> Fantastic, so this is our panel. And we're going to begin, nice and quickly. Okay. So we'll start with Ben. Ben, what are your opinions on um, how much should a YouTuber reveal to themselves? To themselves? Sorry, to their audience. <laughs> I'm rubbish already, <laughs> I apologize. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I share everything with, with my audience. Just, I guess it's kind of interesting to see what will happen as well. And I find that people are less crazy when you tell them everything um, because People only care about the stuff you don't tell them. They, if, if you have a secret, they want to know it. It's like, ooh, what's, he, what's his secret? Is he, is he really straight? Is he really gay? <laughs> Who knows? Now I care. But if you're just like, no, I'm totally straight. Here's, here's, here's the girl I'm dating and all that kind of stuff, then people actually give you more room to breathe, which is weird. Like, you'd think that if you overshared, people would be really, like, obsessively crazy, like, oh, I know everything about you. But actually, the more I share, the less people care. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, like, what was the question? Was it, like, how much do people need right. how to... How much should you share with your audience? Was it should, or how much do they need to share? Should. It, how much... Because it's like, it depends on your content, you know what I mean? Well, it's like, what is a YouTuber in this world where there's a million different kinds of people that make different videos, you know what I mean? I would have thought that for someone like Phil... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I was, uh, Phil, <laughs> Phil is over there, by the way. If you can't see him, he's sat on a chair behind the table. No, no, that's not relevant. Not relevant. <laughs> What an attention seeker. No, um, I was going to say, uh, people like Tom, who obviously, your content, you write it all, you script it all, it's filmmaking, and like Shauna as well. It's not based on like vlogging and personality. And even there's a difference between people that make vlogs that are like, because obviously mine are kind of comedy vlogs that are about subjects as opposed to daily vlogging, which is a completely different thing. So I think that some people, like, how do you feel, Shauna, as a filmmaker? I mean, that's exactly how I feel. I feel like it depends on who you are and sort of, it's a, it's a kind of a taboo word, but what your brand is. Like, if you are really just up there being you, it's duplicitous to be not all you. But if you are up there and, you know, you're half filmmaker and then sharing some of your life on the side, then you're, it's not duplicitous to keep some things personal. And there's a lot of stuff that I don't like to talk about in video form, but I'll talk about, like, on my Twitter and on blogs, and it's like anyone who really cares will find it but I keep my YouTube as a little bit more separate from myself. And that's just like what I like to do. And I don't think that there's any right or wrong way to do it. But yeah, I totally agree with what you said because it all comes down to who you are and what you make. Any opinions, Chris? I have opinions. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like to share too much because I, I like to just stick to comedy, I think, for me personally. I think the more I share, um, the less easier it is to create characters. And I kind of just want to do comedy. I don't really want to tell everyone who I'm going out with and stuff, you know. 
I kick the that. sticks is not is not something I want to talk about. You know? Because you're busy making good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Um, wow. So yeah, I, I keep it all inside me. It's like who who doesn't like whom? Yeah. Tell me. Because I'm sure there's some of that. Um, but no, it seems like you all. When I first watched, wait, did, did I, was there a glance that I missed? Uh, when I, when I, are you going to tell me who doesn't like whom? Dan, you weren't on microphone. Though. Do I want a microphone? I was just saying that I hate Chris. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, when I first saw, it's okay. Everybody hates Chris. He's, he's used to it. Um, <laughs> the gifts. Crabscar. Okay. Yeah. Crabscar, it's a thing. Ship that. Next time I tell a joke and I feel like it's not going very well, I'm just going to say amazing Phil and just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're open for another question now. No, Chris. Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Hold on. Well, well, okay, Chris, off you go. Go on. <laughs> well, basically, like, I, I was, I was, I'm quite similar to you, actually. I just enjoyed filming myself. Not like that. I, uh, just like, I, I filmed like Star Wars scenes but with my cats just because it made me so happy and like I had no intention this was before YouTube I've just kept these videos I don't know what to do with them but they're great <laughs> please put them online I don't know how but yeah like I just love filming stuff and making myself laugh so it's just might as well put it somewhere <laughs> okay well, are we okay to ask another question now Ooh. yep what's your attitude to fans buying gifts Sorry, what? Fans buying gifts. Fans I can answer this as someone who is, I, I literally have like a, a pile of stuff in the other room. Um, it's incredibly flattering. It's like, well, there's the difference between like buying gifts and making gifts. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't think that anyone is better or worse if they don't bring you something. You know what I mean? If someone just wants to say, oh, I really like your videos, that's not worse than someone who gives me a bucket of Maltesers. But like, um, if someone makes you something, then obviously they've taken the time to create something like a letter or like a piece of art or something like that. It makes me feel slightly strange when I see that someone has bought a gift because obviously like that would make any of us feel weird that someone spent money. But if that person says, I really, really like you a lot and I saw this t-shirt and I wanted you to have it and I've given it to you, I'm not going to feel like really disgusted and horrible I'm gonna be like no, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I just think it's really nice you know what I mean it's like a bunch of, like someone was like hey I saw this thing with a cat on it I thought you should have it and I'm just like thank you you know uh, I have one rule and that's no food no food <laughs> like I, I have uh, I have been roofied and I have Actually. been given a cake with pubes in it Aww. why would you want me to eat your pubes Oh, I, lo I, I love like, pube I, cakes. I mean, <laughs> I get them every con. And I hate it's this because I, before that instance, I was before that I was once given a cake and it was the best cake I'd ever had. And now I can't eat cakes Aww. that people give me. And it's so sad. I, and by the way, how are you thin, uh, Dan? I you get given eat, so uh, much like, chocolate. It's, literally, it's like we can't eat all the chocolate. You know what I mean? So it's like a, a, an exclusive fact here. I'm going to be honest about something. When me and Phil get given probably about a, a cube of candy this big, we leave most of it behind because otherwise we'd be dead if we <laughs> ate it all. So I'll usually be like, we haven't tried that before, haven't tried that before, haven't tried that before, which is still probably way too much than we should be eating. And I'll be like, I'm going to be depressed on Thursday night, so I'll take this box of Maltesers. But then the rest I usually give to my friends because if I ate it all, I'd be really, really sick and die. So Yeah, yeah and it doesn't mean that you, like, you don't appreciate it. No, because it's... but it's like, I can't eat all of it. Dan has a lot of fat friends. I appreciate the effort. But... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think like a really important point is I think a lot of people maybe buy us gifts almost like a thank you, as if to yeah. say thank you for being here. But just the fact that you watch us and you support us is more than enough and more than we could ever ask because you're the reason that we're doing what we do. So, you know... I just, I just think, I mean, I, I get given like loads of bottles of Coke, which is great because that's all I drink. But I mean, when I'm given like bags and bags of Doritos, I, I keep them and I do, you know, I, I do eat quite a lot of Doritos. But, you know, I don't ever, I, li I don't like the feeling that some people will come together and think, oh, they've bought so-and-so a present. I didn't buy them anything. They're going to think I'm really ungrateful. And that's not the case at all because we are just so grateful for everyone just supporting us by watching what we do, liking what we do. And you don't have to give us a gift to thank us for any of that. You know, we should be thanking you. So we should be buying you gifts. I shouldn't be saying that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh, 
Well, well, I mean, like, this sounds really awful to say, but one of the best ways to actually support your favorite YouTubers is to just buy a t-shirt or something, and not through eBay, for God's sake, through, like, <laughs> their actual official vendors. If you, that's a really great way to give back to someone who you like, and I, every now and then I just, I, I go online, I just buy a shirt from one of my favorite YouTubers. I own, like, nine YouTube t-shirts. Mm. Like, really? Yeah. No one on this table, though. Or yeah. <laughs> oh. Fine. Yes. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, Dan. That's... <laughs> What do you think about fan accounts on Twitter? What's up? What do you think of fan accounts on Twitter? Oh. Not Dan and Phil fan. You know, like, I, at I'm pro, I heart uh, Hank Green. I'm pro like them. That. I love Imagine's blogs. They're my favorite thing. And just, uh, do you guys know what an Imagine's blog is? Put up your hand if you do. Oh, wow. So most people, for those of you that don't, it's when people go, imagine the moment when Ben Cook looks you in the eyes when you're getting married and stuff like that. I think that, okay, so that, that's my personal one. No, no, um, I don't think many people get that creeped out by them. I mean, obviously, it's a very, like, young, adorable thing for people to, Tom's not that afraid sounds to admit creepy. that. But I just love the level of sarcasm that most people have against them as well. Like, I think I have more, like, troll Imagine's blogs where people are like, the first time you go on a killing spree with Dan and stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh, Chris, to what extent do you think your Becca character represents the typical YouTube Ooh, subscriber? Good Ooh, final um, question. <laughs> I, got, go I got a little bit of hate about Becca. And, um, and a little bit. Just a little bit. There was like it a was Tumblr edgy. Post. <laughs> but I, I honestly believe that Becca is, is uh, a spoof of enthusiasm than, you know, fangirlness. She's just a very passionate person, and I just enjoy playing her. I swear to God, I have like, had so much fun creating that character because I get to interact with YouTube the way I want to. Yeah. Like, I get to fan accounts, and I get to spell things wrong and then not have to freak out about it because <laughs> she's just a bit more, she's a more fun person. So it's an inspiration thing. I'm not taking the piss. I, okay, well, that's all you've got time for, I'm afraid. Um, oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, everyone. Woo. Well, but thank you very much for coming to the Becoming YouTube panel. Thanks. We love doing these things. Thank you especially to Hank, Emma, Casper, Ben, Shauna, Dan, Tom, and Chris. And I am Luke. Goodbye.